This is the western province of Kenya, an area representative of much of sub-Saharan Africa. In a region where the majority of people live in rural areas, livelihoods are centered on agriculture. Traditional farming practices are proving to be ineffective against a range of challenges, including pests, changing weather patterns, increased populations, but most notably, declining soil fertility. The Folk Ecology Initiative is an innovative project working to meet these challenges head on. Soil fertility in sub-Saharan Africa is a major constraint for uh, food self-reliance. In Western Kenya, you'll see you know, standard crops, you'll see you know, poverty, and these things are quite interlinked. It's a very serious threat. As just to give you an example, Africa loses yearly almost $4 billion just due to depletion. The Folk Ecology Initiative is a project of the Tropical Soil Biology and Fertility Institute, an organization founded in 1984 to research improved soil management techniques. The mandate of TSBF is really to contribute to the improvement of the livelihood of um, you know, the farmers in Africa, basically, through uh, the integrated soil fertility management uh, program. TSBF uh, had a mandate to look at the scientific aspects uh, only a scientific aspect and uh, very little was trickling, trickling down to farmers and uh, the time we start thinking about um, really uh, um, extending that knowledge to farmers it became evident that there was a gap which needs to be filled by um, the social sciences being done uh, in uh, the folk ecology project and that is time we really embark on this project. So what exactly is the Folk Ecology Initiative and how does it bridge the communication gap between scientists and farmers? We come to realize that, you know, unless you have a participatory process that in the maris, science and folk knowledge, okay, then you are not going to get far and you have to get partnership from farmers, something which was distinctively missing from initial processes. For soil fertility management to be meaningful, you know, farmers have to understand basic principles. We are not looking at farmers understanding the whole science behind soil, soil fertility research, but rather to get them basic understanding so that they can be able to meaningfully apply the concepts, the technologies that we bring to them. Kitambo vile utafiti liingia mashambani mwetu, hatu kuwa tunapata ripoti kamili kwa sababu mutafiti alikuwa anakuja na iyo utafiti anaweka kwa shambalangu lakini kunijulisha ati hii inafanyika hivi sikuwa ninapata habari utafiti ya eh, soil sampling pia inatolewa lakini hiyo report haikuji lakini tangu folk ecology ingie mashambani mwetu saizi tunapata clear reports wanatueleza hii shamba lako ni kitu fulani kimekosa na kitu fulani kinahitajika and actually it means that actually at the beginning of the research you have to, um, you have to do the research in such a way and, and, and organize it in such a way that's also for the, for the ultimate uh, beneficiaries of the research, uh, the farmers, that they understand it and that it's relevant uh, to them and that it actually addresses their, um, their problems uh, as well. Community interaction begins with participatory rural assessments where TSBF learns from the farmers what their problems are. The next step is to set up trial fields where together with scientists, farmers are able to experiment with different soil management techniques and to then decide which interventions are most suited to their context. How successful has the Folk Ecology Initiative been at realizing livelihood changes for farmers? Manufaa kuu ambayo nimepata kwa hao watafiti watu wa udongo eh, wamenipea elimu ya kuweza kufanya kazi kwa shamba langu bila kutafuta msaada kwa kwa serika, eh, kwa afisa wa agriculture ama kwa ofisi yoyote. Sasa hizi niko na ujuzi ya kutengeneza eh, titonia, kutengeneza farm yard eh, na kutengeneza soya bini pia kama mbolea kwa shamba langu. 
Shirika la TSBF limetusaidia sana. Kwa sababu wametupeleka hata ma seminars wa mama wengine tulikuwa tunaingia hapo ma seminars. Hata tulikuwa tunafurahi, tunaangalia video, tunaangalia kilimo kingine huko. Tulienda kuangalia video, tulienda kuona video. Tulikuwa tunaona vitu vingi sana vile ambavyo tunaweza kujua. Ujuzi wa kupanda line mbili za maiti na line mbili za soya tulijifunza kutoka kwa watu wa folk ecology kwa sababu soya ni mbolea kwenye shamba na ukivuna ukipeleka nyumbani unaweza kutengeneza chakula na maziwa sisi tulikuwa tunalima samani ile kulima ya samani kumbe kuna kulima ya kisasa ambayo katika udongo yetu inataka tuongeze kitu kama fertilizers Despite all-round excitement at the introduction of new techniques, has the Folk Ecology Initiative produced any tangible improvement in farmers' yields? Samani nilikuwa napanda na napata magunia mbili. Na sasa hii napata nyingi sana. Kama magunia 10 saidi. Hapa mbeleni kabla TSGF ijaingia, nilikuwa napata kama magunia moja. Siku hizi napata saidi. Saidi kama magunia 12 kwa eka moja. Kwa eka moja. Kwa hii robo nilikuwa navuna mm. gorogoro tano gorogoro tano Paka tano peke yake sita tano mm. Mm. Uh, mavuno sasa naona mm. naweza pata kama gunia 4 mm. ama gunia 4 kwa hii sehemu ndogo tu napata hivyo ndio aha through its work in western kenya the folk ecology initiative has been tremendously successful at creating genuine knowledge exchanges between farmers and scientists and at improving farmer livelihoods to those involved, the Folk Ecology Initiative stands as a model to be replicated and upscaled across the continent. To critics, however, it is a process that may become too expensive if extended beyond its current reach. The sustainability of folk ecology has, uh, you know, again and again come into focus. Uh, the folk ecology, I think, is very sustainable. First as a research uh, tool, but I think folk ecology can work very well as a research and development initiative. We really believe that uh, this story successfully need to really scale up all over Africa. The, the, I think maybe what's, what's, what is a little bit the difficulty is that it's a very intensive, intensive pro, uh, process. Eh? You have to uh, discuss with farmers, farmer groups, and it requires a lot, of, um, a lot of time from both farms sometimes as well as the as the research is as such. For the moment, the project is really very limited and small in nature. We will need more human resources to make sure that we have the capacity institutionally here to scale this um, up. And it uh, will be also very important to have the necessary funding to be able to scale all this knowledge. And I think if we can invest that money into a process that is sustainable, such as folk ecology, and do it properly, and in, engage the farmer right from the beginning, but in a more you know, uh, meaningful way, not just engaging the farmer by running around and you know, asking farmers questions and disappearing, rather doing it you know, in a way that farmers understand where you are coming from, where you are going, and you understand it. And I think it's very important for the scientists to understand the farmer. And I think that's where sustainability begins. Once you understand the farmer, and the farmer understands you, so from the beginning you know that this thing is doable, and we are going to do it. And I think folk ecology is very sustainable. People say it's expensive, and I say, what is cheap? Poverty is not cheap.